quick little video here on how to apply how to mix and apply body filler um yeah just let me know what you guys think you know give me some feedback and uh don't forget to like it rate and subscribe and i'll see you guys around on the next one as you guys can see here i already have a nice amount of filler that i scooped up with my spreader and put it on my mixing board a good rule of thumb or what they say is to run a nice even bead across with your hardener which is the blue stuff on top of the filler the hardener is what causes the reaction to make your your hardener i mean your filler harden but usually they tell you yeah to not put a nice even bead across but it all depends on where you're at really like the temperature because the hotter it is the faster it's going to harden and the colder it is the more time it's going to take to harden so it all depends on where you're at Usually once you do it a lot more, you get to, you kind of get the hang of how much you need. But over here, you know, after I uh, apply my filler and hardener, I'm just chopping and folding, chopping and folding, chopping and folding, making sure that uh, I don't have any air bubbles in my filler so it can reduce pinholes and any imperfections in the filler. But you just chop and fold, chop and fold. But one thing I do advise is guys, don't get discouraged. You know, this took me a while to get down. It looks simple, but it took me a while to get down. The chopping and folding motion it looked kind of crappy at first but over time you get better and you get better and it'll get better but yeah over here i just started off by applying it on my low spot and then i get a nice even spread all around and then that's it guys that's pretty much it you know just get a nice even spread and then i started removing some of the excess filler i kind of overshot on how much filler i needed but it's all right you know it happens but that's it guys let me know what you guys think and uh, i'll see you guys around on the next video